Welcome CSC 200. This is our EX9 exercise and this will be more about how our output looks on a web page. So we'll be doing a little HTML, a little CSS, as well as some PHP. So I just logged into my GORM container and I'm going to launch my GORM container right here, my GORM PHP. Hopefully you've already completed EX8 and my workspace is loading up. And remember this is my terminal down here. Now, let me go over to my project here. Let me refresh. To, if it's ever not showing, just hit refresh. So it's showing up there. So there's my EX8 folder. That was from last time. This is EX9 Fin. You will not have that. I have a finished version just to show you as an example. But before I do that, let me go to my MySQL start TXT. And I think you have to do this each time. And I'm just going to copy this part here and paste it to start MySQL. And then I'm going to restart my Apache server. And that's so we can see our PHP code. I have a file here. It's finished. And this is what we're going to do. Notice we have multiple index PHP files. So be careful when you open these up. So you may have a couple tabs that say index.php. And you may not know which folder it's in. So just be aware of that because we have one main index.php file. And then you're going to have an index.php file inside of every folder. Now we're going to make an EX9, but just for now I want to show you something. Uh, I'll open this file up. I'll close up this text file here. We're going to be doing something like this. We're going to be putting a bunch of HTML in here. We're also going to be doing some style tags, which is CSS. And then we're also going to have PHP, which is going to be embedded in our page. And we're going to use a table so that things look nice. And the purpose is, and let me just show you this, if I go to project and I go to my server page, When you go to your local host, when you go here, remember this is our main directory. And if you click in here, it'll show you the index page. So what it just showed you is this page. And there's nothing really to see here. It's just a test page. We could even get rid of it. But what I am going to do is go to the end of this and I'm going to type in ex. 9 fin. Now you're going to do EX9 once we create that. I'm going to go through creating this, but this is just the finished product. So I'm going into EX9 fin and I don't need to put slash index.php because the, it'll find that automatically. If I hit return, this is what we're seeing here. And this is what we're going to do. We're displaying basically a query result and we're putting it in a table so it looks nice. And notice we have alternating colors. It's in a specific font. We even have the results displaying at the end. So we can set something up that will display our correct results in a table. And eventually we're going to create our own input so we can add things to a database and display it this way. But as a, another step as we keep working here, we're going to make this look nice. Because remember last time we did it, we just had a, a strip of text along the side. We're going to make things look a little nicer using HTML and CSS. So this is going to be our finished product. So it's not going to be as much about the query that we do, we'll just, this one's about Oceana and population and the code and the country, but it's going to be more about having things display nicely on a page. So that's what we're going to be doing. If you remember our EX8, if I just go back here and go back to EX8. Oh, there it is. I, I don't know. I guess I just had a refresh. But anyway, here's my EX8 page with EX8 and that's what we finished up in EX8. So. What we're going to do now is do something that is going to be our EX9 that's going to show a table so it looks a little nicer than this. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now before I do that, I'll just kind of run a quick video about a table because we're going to create a table. So right now I'll just play a quick little video in between what I'm going to do next and you'll watch a little video about a table. It's an older video, but here it comes. Here's a quick little graphic here, but basically the way a table is set up, you've, you're familiar with tables probably from Word or Excel, there are rows and columns. Basically there's one, two, three rows going down and there's three columns going across. And the way they're identified is they identify a row with the TR tag. So basically there's going to be a TR and then at the end, they're not showing it, there's an ending TR with a, with a slash in front of it. And this would be a TR and this would be the ending TR. And this would be the TR, and that stands for table row. So this would be the first opening tag of the table row. And then at the end, there would be an ending tag of the table row. Same thing with these. Now, these are on top, almost like they're columns, but they actually represent each one of these. They don't represent the whole column all the way down. They actually represent a cell. So TD is actually a cell. 
it's called t like table data is what that stands for. So this is a TD, this is a TD, this is a TD. So each of these will have an opening TD and an ending TD. Opening TD, ending TD, opening TD, ending TD, and then a closing TR. So that's the way our table is set up and they'll all be enclosed in a kind of a starting table tag and a closing table tag. So that's the basics of a table. So we have to put these, these little tags in here, these elements. And we can do that, remember we can put HTML into our PHP as a string as long as they're in quotes. So if we go back, we'll just kind of look at how to do this. Okay, thanks for watching that about the tables. Hope that helped a little bit. But anyway, I'm gonna close this up because this is, is actually a finished version, which we're not gonna use, so let me close that up. And I'm actually gonna close up this little folder here so it doesn't distract me. And EX8, what we're gonna do here, uh, we may copy the file out of here. So that way we can use the one we already did. So that's why I said, hopefully you already did EX8, so we're gonna use the code from this file. But before I do that, you should be able to do this. You should be able to go new folder, and you should just type in EX9. And that's all you're going to be doing. And just do it lowercase. And be careful because I just put it in my EX8 folder. So let me let me delete that. I'll just do it again just so I make sure I show you how to do it the right way. Make sure you do this. Make sure you click on the GORM folder before you make a new folder so it goes inside here. So make sure you hit this and do new folder. And I'll do EX9 lowercase and now it should be on the same level as the EX8 and you're not seeing a little arrow there because there's nothing in it but what you are gonna put in it is the same file that you used here so you can go here the one that you did in EX8 you can copy it and I'm just right clicking and I'll hit copy and then I'll close this up and I'll go in here I can even double click on it and I'll do con control V and make sure it gets inside there. Make sure your index.php gets inside there. And that's all you have to do. But just to make sure that this is working, if I open this up, and this is the one I did last time for EX8. Now, if I open this up again, remember to get here, you have to go to this running URL and open up your local host page. And I like to go in GORM PHP first and then kind of append EX9 here. So let's see if this works. I'll take off the fin, and that works. Now this is the old code, so I don't want this right now. Now I could leave this up, so I'm just gonna go back there. I'll leave that open, I'll cancel out of this. That's because my old code is in here right now, and it's running our old query, which we're gonna adjust all this, but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in some HTML in here. We're gonna kind of wrap our PHP tags. Remember, this is the starting PHP tag and then this is the ending PHP tag, and we're gonna wrap some HTML inside here. We can mix it together. Now, I, I'm not a PHP expert, and there's even some efficient ways to do this when we write out our code that may be better than what we're doing here, but we're gonna get it to work first, and then we'll worry about being more efficient with PHP in the future, if that's what we're gonna continue to do. So what we're gonna have to do here with our EX9, and make sure this is the one, even if you're not sure you, you have the right one open, like let's say you have two folders open or something like that, just, just close this up, and close this up and make sure you have this one open. And what we're gonna do here, just to get started, is I'm gonna click right here, put my cursor right before that, and I'm just gonna do a doc type tag, which is gonna be a less than sign, and an exclamation point, and I'm just gonna put doc type in all caps. This is just a something you're supposed to do for HTML. I'm gonna do HTML. It's just a declaration, so we'll just put that first. It'll just show up in white. And then after that, I'm going to do an opening HTML tag, and you should do the less than sign and just type HTML. And you might get some coding hints here, and you could just click on it. And that's all you need. Now, it's putting a closing one right here. We're going to move that to the end, but just leave it here for now. And then what I'm going to put in next, in, if you're familiar with HTML at all, you're going to put in a head tag. So I'm just going to start typing head, and it should come up. And if you close it, if you put the greater than sign to close it, it'll write the closing tag for you. So this is the opening tag, this is the closing tag. Now the head tag doesn't really show anything. And what's going to go in the head tag is going to be the title and our CSS is going to go in here. So I'm going to put in a title. And I'm just going to say title. 
and notice how it's creating kind of a indented kind of area here so it's nested the head is inside the HTML the title is inside the head and what I'm gonna put in here for the title is the title is whatever shows up here like just how this thing was showing GORM PHP it's just showing the address you can put a title up here and what I'll do is just put a title and just put ex9 PHP table I could just do that that way I know I'm working on the right exercise that's all you need in there it doesn't have to be in quotes or anything like that this is HTML that we're doing here so that's the title tag and then also in our you might as well do this right now I'm gonna do style and I'll start typing style and if you click on style it might it'll be open like that and it might have to say style and then type and you're gonna put equals and we're just gonna do text CSS I think that's correct and that's all that you should have to do in there I haven't done this for a while and it has to be in quotes text slash CSS it's gonna look like this so let me just copy this that way that way I don't have to mess around with it so and I'll close this so I'm not so I'm in the right file so I'll, I'll highlight this whole tag here so it's gonna say style type equals text slash CSS I haven't done this for a while so I don't remember it from heart when I do it so this will be our opening style tag and then I'm just gonna do a closing style tag I didn't line up correctly and I'll move that out there now what we're gonna put in here are CSS styles that are gonna help style our table so it looks nice so those are gonna be formatting things you might have done that in intro to computing or something like that we're gonna do that in there so we're gonna put some style tags in here we're not doing a separate CSS file right now because we don't want to have that many files going on so we'll just put them in here there's not a whole lot of styles we'll be doing so again this is the opening and this is the closing and this is the opening and this is the closing and we don't want our closing HTML to be right here so before I do anything else I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna cut it so you could do command X on Mac or control X on Windows and I'm gonna go to the bottom behind everything or after everything and I'll paste my closing HTML and I'll move it out here because I think it's out out to the margin so I'll keep it where it is there and if I close this little thing up you can see that's what it does there's my closing so it collapses it so the next thing in is head now also at the same level as head I'm gonna do something called body and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a table before our PHP and end a table after our PHP so after the head tag here I'm gonna do body which is just means our the visual stuff that you'll see on a page is body tag so I'm gonna make my first one there and then I'll cut this and put this at the end now remember this is gonna be inside so we're kind of wrapping these tags around all our PHP right now and we'll fix this up and make it look nicer and then what we're also gonna do because body's gonna be inside I'm gonna make a table tag and we're gonna have a starting table tag and when you get the closing one right here cut that again command X or control X and put that before this so I'm gonna hit return here move that back in and paste the table tag here and I'm gonna try to keep it in the same order so I'll tab these things over so it should be lined up like that indented ones actually this could be here and then this could be here so that's lined up the same as it is up here because body is one indent in and then table is two indents in one indent two indents and that's it and notice this is after so I can even put an extra space here just to separate it from my PHP so these are closing HTML body and table tags and then up here I have my opening HTML body and table tags and then this head tag is kind of in between and it's right after the HTML the opening HTML and there's a head tag and there's two things in there there's a title tag that is just the title that's going to show up on your tab or if people are bookmarking the page that's where that text will show up that'll say ex9 PHP table you can even put your put your name here if you want you know that way you can see it when it shows up and then the style tags which we're gonna fill up later and then what we're gonna do and I'll, I'll take away some of these extra spaces here what we're gonna do in our PHP is adjust some of this PHP here instead of just having them so there's just line breaks we're gonna make these so they're actually table rows and table cells just like in that little video that you watched so we're gonna edit this code so it looks all nice and then we're gonna format it nicer by putting some CSS styles in here so that's what we're gonna be doing next so I'm gonna save I have an asterisk there so I'm gonna do a command or control s and I'm gonna take a break here and then I'm gonna come back 
and start working with HTML tags inside our PHP and then we're going to style it.